those of you making the transition from 123D Designs to Fusion 360 will be thrilled to hear that an importer has now been incorporated into Fusion 360 and Fusion Team. So make sure to save, backup, and export all your incredible designs and start learning how to use the vast capabilities found within Fusion. Once your files have been saved, all you'll need to do is click to upload your 123D designs through the data panel. I'll do this for just one design at this time, but you can add as many files here as you want. In a short time, it'll upload and convert your files so you'll be able to open the design in Fusion 360 without any additional steps. A quick pro tip for those of you who like your models to continue pointing upward, make sure to visit this option where you can set it to use the same reference as was used in 123D Design. When you're done, I'll do something I think every 123D Design user will love. I'll turn on the ability to capture the design history. By doing this, I'll have the ability to edit or undo past features at any time in the design process. Because this was imported, there isn't much here now, but later I'll show you the history of a model that was built fully in Fusion. So now that we're upright in within Fusion 360, let's improve the appearance of this French press. I'll access the appearance options by pressing A and search for a material to apply, starting with plastic. The search returns a wide array of options, but not all are immediately available. Some will need to be downloaded, an effort we made to keep the install simple and quick. In seconds flat, it's ready to use and we can click and drag from the dialog to the model. We'll do the same to add a yellow matte finish to the main body and plunger handle, then move on to applying the glass material to the graph. But your capabilities in Fusion 360 go way beyond that of applying appearances. You can build complex mechanical motion with joints and even limit those to make it more lifelike. You can create assembly and disassembly instructions by leveraging the animation workspace. This simple to use timeline approach enables the freedom to do things like move parts, hide and show components, and alter camera view orientations. Or maybe you just wanna take those appearances and create marketing quality imagery of your designs without any additional steps. Using the in canvas render is great and the water refraction here really shows, but we're not steeping tea. Let's make another render, but use additional controls. We can edit scenes, add decals, change focal length, and add depth of field, all adding realism with each addition. And if you don't have the patience to wait for the in-canvas render, send it to the cloud and free your system for the next render or design validation. I'll change the workspace to simulation, coincidentally another place we can use the cloud, and begin testing the strength, or assess how hot the handle might get when boiling water is added to the craft. These results show the effects of pressure on the craft and handle and give me insights I've never had before. And when all is said and done, I can 3D print the design or start making plastic injection molds if I want to go full production. This version of the French press was made directly in Fusion and to gain insights on how it was built, I can, and you can, play through the steps in the timeline. In the data panel, where we access our designs and projects, I can gain deeper understanding of the history of my Fusion design. That's because every time I saved, a new and more importantly, a recallable version is added to this list. And if I open this in the web by clicking here, I can see other details related to this design, take my collaboration light years ahead by creating share links or live reviews, or simply invite others to add markups. They can do this from across the globe because this data is accessible from anywhere and any device. Come see how Fusion 360 will enable new capabilities for every step of your designs, no matter how big or small.